Today, I have good news to share. I'm bringing Alpine back. Alpine was founded in 1955 by Jean Redelet, a young man who was passionate about motorsport and built an agile, fast, elegant cars based on Renault technology. It's here in Monaco that the Alpine name became legendary when the Alpine A110 Ascendis Berlinette defeated its rivals to come in first at the 1971 Monte Carlo Rally before once again winning the rally in 1973. Alpine built on its momentum to win prizes, not only in rallying, but also in endurance racing, culminating in outright victory at Le Mans in 1978. Despite the fact that no Alpine cars have rolled off the line since 1995, Alpine still represent the dream of racing glory, performance, and passion for enthusiasts around the world. Today, we see Alpine as a strategic opportunity for Group Renault. Alpine is an exciting next step in our strategy to leverage the talent and the technology between road and track. We look forward to reaching new customers in the premium sports car segment. Alpine will also be a source of passion and pride of our staff, dealers, customers. The new Alpine will be made in Dieppe, Alpine's traditional home. Alpine Vision is the name of the show car we will be unveiling in just a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the Alpine Vision Show Car. Thank you. With the team, we not only think Alpine, we live Alpine. Sharing our passion with the passionate, driving cars, of course, living with the racing team, and being at the heart of the action with drivers and mechanics. Today's Alpine Vision has two strong attributes, agility and sensuality. Agility comes from the mid-mounted rear engine architecture and the compact size. Sensuality is rooted in Alpine's know-how and glorious past. The four ringed headlamp signatures plays with the timeless design of the A110. Yes, an Alpine is a sensual machine, which makes all senses tingle with desire. The aim for our new road car is to stir the soul of the passionate driver, offering a different kind of qualities of to, do, to most of today's sports cars. To make sure that we achieve our aims, we will focus on only three things. Firstly, we will focus on building an excellent car. Our second priority is to continue to build the Alpine team and the Alpine network. And finally, as befits Alpine, we'll go racing. As I mentioned, our mission is clear. We are totally focused on developing an excellent driver's car, totally in line with what Alpine is all about. 